Hey everybody, it's Mike from Order Flows, and you know I'm shooting this video. It's Sunday night. It's uh, Labor Day weekend, September fourth. You know, it's just uh, after around seven o'clock at night, and I, I just want to follow up on the talking about order flow imbalances. You know, yesterday I put out a video talking about stacked imbalances and how the market has memory around those areas, and what I will be talking about today is just just sort of follow up on it and start looking at the market when there are imbalances and they're not stacked okay so there might be you know in a bar there might be uh two or three imbalances now the thing with imbalances right again i explained that yesterday it's it's the difference between um the aggressive buying and aggressive selling in the two-way auction by over a certain percentage right usually it's four to one and in today's example i'm using four to one that's that's the base that i use always um, again, it's up to you if you want to use four to one. Some people use three to one. Some people use, you know, six to one. Some people use nine to one, you know, or nine eighty seven percent to one. Um, but you know, it, it's up to you. You got to find your sweet spot. But again, for most traders, four to one is fine. So again, this is Sunday night uh, on the Labor Day holiday. You know, and people are always afraid of, oh my gosh, you know, Sunday night. You know, there's no liquidity. It's there actually. There's very good liquidity. You know, when I was working at the banks, you know, at JP Morgan and, and trading firms like Cargill, you know, Sunday nights were, were pretty active, especially if, if Friday was a uh, very active session. And obviously this past Friday was, you know, the, the real money is, is still trading, right? People are still watching this market. You know, hedge funds have 24 hour trading desks and, you know, they're, they're watching what happens on the open and, and they're reacting accordingly. So what I'll talk about there, let's go back to the open of, uh, this session Sunday night five o'clock Chicago time and you know 1400 contracts trade you got a nice strong negative Delta you got uh, you know minus 243 contracts and then market started making a new low for the first three minutes it looked like it was gonna potentially start to rally you know we had this one bar here it had zero Delta now people sometimes think oh I got zero Delta that must mean something no it's, it's really just a coincidence you know this is a time-based chart I'm looking at a one-minute chart and it just so happened that when that one minute closed, delta was at zero, right? If there was an extra nanosecond, it might have been a negative delta of minus three or, you know, three more seconds. It might have been a positive delta of plus 20. You know, it's a difference of basically one trade that it just, the time just cut off, right? So it, it just ended. And then right after that, you got a nice strong delta. You got a nice stacked buying imbalance, right? But even though it's a stack buying imbalance, the volumes are kind of light, you know, 6, 19, 24, you know, during the day session, you could probably put a zero behind that. Um, you're going to get a lot more volume, the volume that happens, you know, in the evening session from the reopen up until, um, you know, 7 a.m. Chicago time is about a th not even a third of, of the whole day's volume. So, you know, you got to take that into account when you're analyzing volume. You can't just say, well, you know, there's no volume here. Well, there is volume. It's just not as strong as what you see during the day. And you got a nice stack buying imbalance, right? That's a sign of aggressive buyers coming into the market, right? You got the positive delta of 83, a stack buying imbalance. Okay, hey, you know, maybe we can uh, rally back up, right? We're just coming up to the opening price. The opening price was 38.29. And we're rallying back up to that area. But then what happens? Nothing. It doesn't get that one further tick right up to the open at 29 only gets up to 28 and three quarters and just goes inside on you, right? I don't want to say it goes sideways. It just, you know, just sort of retraces the previous bar. And then what happens? More selling comes in. And what time did it come in? It came about five minutes after the open. Now, you know, the way a lot of traders think on, you know, when the markets reopen on Sunday night is they want to give it a chance to settle down, right? I mean, it's not like it's going to be trading gangbusters you know the way it does on you know when, when a number comes out but you know people want to sort of let the market get its footing sort of figure out which way it's going to go and literally after five bars after five minutes the aggressive selling comes in right you got a nice stack selling and balance it just gets whacked down here right you can see the zeros right there's three nineteen two seven fourteen uh twenty three twenty five twenty five thirty eight 82 56 you know 20 but on this side it's zero 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 one somebody came in and just whacked it down literally right when this bar opened right right after five minutes of trading sellers just came in whacked it down whacked it down from what is that 27 and a half down to 
you know, down to 26 and even lower. What was interesting is, you know, it just swept through that market. That's left that stack selling imbalance. And even down at the bottom, you got a couple more selling imbalances, right? You made that new low, obviously a nice strong negative delta. What's the direction telling you? Well, the direction's telling you to the downside, right? And market makes new lows, makes new lows. Notice on this next bar, there's one buying imbalance. Okay, nothing special. It's still got negative delta. The bar is a small, tiny up bar, but you know it, it's close to unchanged on where the bar opened and closed. Then the next bar, big down bar again, right? More selling imbalances. So this bar here got like, what is that? Seven selling imbalances, one buying imbalance, another two selling imbalance. Next bar, another two selling imbalance. No selling imbalances, no buying imbalances. Now here you got a, a a sign of potentially maybe this market can bounce, right? What do we got? We got a divergence. We got a new low with positive delta. We got a order flow ratio, a bullish one. But the next bar doesn't go any higher, just makes a new low. Starts to come back up here. More buying imbalances too, okay? Positive delta. So maybe it looks like this market can start to rally. But what is the market telling you? It's not ready to rally. It only goes one tick higher over the next two bars, right? It goes, the high of this bar is 22 and a quarter. High of this bar is 22 and a half. Point of controls are lined up at 22 and a quarter, okay? And, and I talked about this a few days ago, right? This is a potential resistance area, right? Especially if the market were to come back to it, right? If you were to draw this line here, I, I want to obviously this is going to be resistance market staying under right? and you can just see how it's just hanging around here right comes right back up to that it just sort of hangs around but I'll get to that in a minute but anyway I, I don't want to digress here more selling imbalances in this bar so since that big push down after the five minutes after the market settled down you're seeing mostly selling imbalances what do you think the market's trying to tell you well there's more selling obviously um I, I, I you know, people want to try and find arguments for buying, and there has, really hasn't been many arguments for buying, right? There's maybe one argument in here with these two green candles, but you can't go any higher. So, what do you think is going to happen? If it's not going to higher, it's going to go lower. More selling imbalances come in, right? One, two, three, four, five selling imbalances. Market makes a new low. One, two, three selling imbalances, right? We're at the low of the day. You know, 39, 15 and a quarter. Got negative delta at the low. Two bars, strong negative delta. Now these are strong relative to this time period. Minus 201, minus 211. And then what happens? It goes inside, 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 inside. You got four inside bars of this big bar down. But after the first bar, right, this green bar going inside, that's a sign that potentially the move is over, right? I always talk about you know you want to be looking for signs of potentially the market's movement is over right we did have a, a sell-off from you know 29 all the way down to 15 and a quarter and then now the market is starting to go inside on you right oh notice over here you had a big dark bar down and you went inside inside and just sort of went sideways starting to see the same thing shape up here now here you're seeing small deltas 19 minus 5 minus 9 it's not really much direction going on Again, you're getting two point of controls here lined up on these two green bars. I'll just move this line down. Okay, well, you know, maybe, all right? You gotta be thinking, I got three green bars up. I got these point of controls lined up here. I see one buying imbalance. Okay, it's nothing to get excited about, just one buying imbalance. That's nothing, two against 12. That's not big volume. Small deltas, minus five, minus nine. Maybe what the market is telling you is that it it's, putting in a base right you don't have big directional trade yet coming in but you're starting to see point of controls lined up and then you want to see if the market's going to come back what's going to happen it comes right back down um three bars later right fourth bar again it's just sort of hanging there doesn't really break down into the low we put this new point of control right down here at uh, 16 and a quarter just hanging around okay so maybe this could potentially be a support area down here we're looking at you know, somewhere between, you know, this point of control here, this one here at uh, 16. Yeah, obviously you got these at 16 and three quarters. Market starts going up, more selling imbalances here. Got a stack selling imbalance, but it's small. Eight against one, 10 against one, zero against six. 
Okay, you know, I, I'd like it to be a little bit stronger. It's just no counter trade. You know, maybe this is a big order. Somebody sold 25 contracts. Okay, nothing happened. Market came right back up. Again, another selling stack selling imbalance. Eight against two, seven against one, ten against one. Market did trade lower, but it's still, you know, I know I got this area here, potential support. So I got a stack selling imbalance being drawn out up here. Okay, which the market did come back to and just went sideways on you. But what are you seeing in this area here? Again, nothing special in the deltas. No really big numbers one way or the other. This one had minus 75. This one had minus 101. But other than that, it's fairly evenly spread out. Now, granted, it's Sunday night on a holiday. The volumes aren't that strong. But nevertheless, I mean, you're seeing 4, 0, 13, 16, 15, you know, 3, 3, 3, 2. But as you get in here, all right, it's a little hard to see because the deltas aren't really giving you much, These small deltas, but you're starting to see, you know, buying and balance and selling and balance, but buying and balance, buying and balance, buying and balance. Starting to see almost every bar is, is sort of kicking off buying and balances, right? One, two, three, um, four, five, six, okay, seven, eight. You know, you're getting a lot more buying and balances than selling and balances, okay? So that's a clue. Well, there's some little bit slightly more aggressive buying than aggressive selling. And if you're looking at the deltas, deltas at this point, honestly, isn't really giving you much to go off of because the deltas are just too small. Okay. And you're just sort of going sideways. This level down here is holding. We took out this stack selling imbalance. I do know I have this stack selling imbalance from up here from earlier, right? This is that one right after the open, right in here at uh, 505, up here at 26. And then... What happens? You get this one bar here, two selling imbalances, and then it snaps right back, stack buying imbalance right in here, 12, 28, 35, 24, even a couple more buying imbalances. All of a sudden, you know, it's like the market is just like flatlining. You know, you, you, you see those those medical shows, the guys, um, you know, they're like doing the CPR. He's like flatlining, and then all of a sudden, you know, the market's got the heartbeat comes in, right? And you get that stack buying imbalance. Delta jumps 142. All right, you don't see anything, anything over 100, you know, since that that low was made down here when it was minus 200. Okay, so, you know, now you got a sign of life. Pay attention. Well, then what else do you see? Okay, so now I I know I have this zone being drawn out. Next bar is up, hasn't come back into it. Next bar, a couple more buying imbalances. Next bar, two more buying imbalances. Just nice strong delta 136. Next bar, buying a balance, buying a balance. Now you're coming into this area where you had that stack selling a balance. And this is something you got to watch for. You know, areas where you had strong, aggressive selling before, you want to watch, is that selling going to still be there or not? And more importantly, if it's an area where you had strong, aggressive selling earlier, and now you're seeing strong, aggressive buying come in at that same level, that's an important clue. Those are good trades to take. And what do you have? You have stack selling a balance from earlier, the zone being drawn out, and into that area, into that resistance. You got nice, strong, aggressive buying, nice stack buying and balance in here, and you go higher, right? You finally take out the opening price right up here at, at 29. Okay, then you sort of go sideways, another stack buying and balance, right? And then as you go up, making new highs, more buying and balances, more buying and balances. As you're making new highs, right? It's, you know, I'm making this video. It's just after seven o'clock. We made this new high up here at, what is that, 38? That, well, the high is 38 and three quarters, but, you know, we made a high up here at, at 38. We have this area in here, right? A stack buying a balance with the zone being drawn out. Got a stack selling a balance just coming in right before that area. Uh, I would like it more if that selling a balance was, was here. I'd be, be looking to be more bearish. But it's an area where you had stacked aggressive buying earlier now all of a sudden you got stacked aggressive selling <laughs> i wouldn't be surprised to see this market sell off from this area here at 34 33 and a half at least come down to, to 29 you know i mean it's the night session so the moves aren't going to be as as sweet as you'd see during the day but you know at this point when i'm making this video you know put a gun to my head take a short yeah you definitely got to be short you know, we got a stack selling a balance up here. I got a potential resistance here. We got through this one, through this um, support. 
and it's sort of coming in right around that same level. So yeah, I'd, I'd definitely be short. But really, the trade to take is back here, right? When this stack buying imbalance came in out of nowhere, right? What had this market been doing? This is came in at eight eight six eighteen for the last. Gosh, going all the way back here to just after that low has been made. The low was done at uh, five eighteen for almost an hour. The market is is basically going sideways, right? I mean, you had a stack selling a balance. Market did nothing, right? You get in here, you got a stack buying a balance. Now you're starting to see the market start to rally, okay? So that's your sign to take of direction. I don't say take the trade, but you know that's a trade that I would take after a market has been going sideways for so long and you see something, a sign of life if in the form of imbalances and definitely in the form of stacked imbalances that's nice to see right that's that's the direction you want to go now the only spanner in the works is this bar here right preceding the the stack buying imbalances you've got the um two selling imbalances right but the market obviously didn't go any lower um i, I would prefer, it would it'd look a lot nicer if it didn't have that little aggressive selling before it came around but who knows right maybe these guys that were selling it in here were trying to get it to break down and then also now they gotta start covering it so it's going to add more fuel to the fire but other than that you know really after you see that stack buying and balance come in and it's holding right we're not retracing back into it the trade is to the upside i do know i got some resistance up here at you know the 26 area 26 and a quarter with the stack selling a balance earlier but then seeing this stack buying a balance come in at that same area you know makes me feel more confident on the trade that it's going to at least, you know, a target of 29, the opening price, which was acting a bit as resistance earlier. And once you get past that, all right, another stack buying imbalance, you know, it's just up to new highs. So, you know, right now, as we're talking, you know, market's coming back down, did get back down to, what is that, 30, didn't quite get back down to 29. So anyway, guys, you know, I hope you can start to think more about, uh, you know, analyzing imbalances. It's not just one imbalance that you're trying to analyze. You got to put it in context with, you know, are there other imbalances in the bar? What about previous bars? You know, has it shifted from mostly selling imbalances over the last several bars to, to buying imbalances over the next several bars? Things like that, right? Don't just take it in isolation and say, well, I got one bar with um, three buying imbalances. Like I get long, right? Try and put it in context with what's been happening. So again, you know, I hope you appreciate this video. Be sure to like it and subscribe to it. And you know, I'll be posting uh, videos a little bit more regularly now that I've got more time. So thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.